<laughs> I'm trying to keep it from going into a sexual place because, yeah. You know what, Donald? It's fine. Hmm. It didn't, but it is. It's stuck there. Yeah. Say you're going to an event, running for office, running for mayor. The other candidate doesn't bring this cake, and you bring the cake. Helped your, you've helped your campaign out a lot. Might not be it, but you've helped your campaign out a lot. Makes you feel like a star. Like you're a big, big shot. Doing some big shit. <laughs> you're eating the fanciest cake in the universe. Or a very fancy cake. That might be exaggeration, but it's very, very fancy. Compared to especially to what I'm used to. My taste buds are, are drenched in satisfaction. The chef is, should be proud. The chef can go home tonight and say to their significant other or spouse or themselves or pet or whoever, I did some good, something good today. I didn't save the world, but I made a cake. It was a good cake. And I'm, and I'm damn good at it. Mostly not sexually. Hey folks, today I'm going to react to minimal stimulus. That being said, I'll probably catch something and react to it. Hello folks, today I'm going to run through an audiobook, video, audio book, whatever you call it, of my first book, Boesia, by Donald Jose David Zapata. Use as many of these words in a sentence as you can. The expanded case of the internet gave me this prompt. It has a prompt, so that beneath the prompt is what I managed to poop out, poop out in response. So use as many of these words in a sentence as you can. Jesus died for our signs. It is now up to us to die for our cosigns. Oh, and that reminds me, uh, yeah. I should, I guess I should mention that the prompts I used to create this segment here in the first segment in this chapter were prompts with a question mode in Omegle.com. Omegle is good for prompts sometimes, original content sometimes, and horrible awful things uh, so many times. So you're welcome. I was denied entrance to the Peace Corps. I only chose one country in the positions were teaching positions, which I will admit I have not been officially recognized as qualified for yet. Maybe they thought I was being weird by being focused on just that one country. I don't know. But specificity is what helps me make my dreams come true. That and luck and a bit of stupidity and fair amounts of intelligence. You know, if you're more religious leaning, you might be like, how can you claim to believe in him or them and yet say natural peace, history of peace or something like that, I think. Uh, so rats, it just took away a little bit of extra incentive. You might have had to read further into this thing. UGK helped popularize the term trail. I added value by turning the phrase into a pun. So much value was added there. Wow, just look at that. So go stick your thumb upwards on their definition. 5-4% average growth rate from 1950 to 2010. by Donald Zapata. It is an ebook. You can buy it. Uh, and then, yeah, that's how you can read more. Thanks, pal. Bye. All right, folks, today I am going to read the true story of how blanking saved my life, a survivor's tale, by Donald Jose David Zapeda. Sir, we have a warrant to search your premises for any illegal flower-making activity. 
focus that I have to my boy. Walter faced institutional disadvantages at the moment until the day when he potentially too finds a way to make me obsolete, and boy howdy would I welcome that day because progress is great. On the screen, I, pulled, I had pulled up the Instagram page that my slave child of what in that moment seemed to be a thousand, of a thousand years had concocted in the precious few seconds that had passed while I was chumming up the blue crew. The female cop, who also wasn't a thumbsucker as far as we know, eyed the pictures as I floated past her oculars. My slime caked finger uh, slid across the screen every few seconds to show her more. The male cop was standing behind her, looking over his shul her shoulder at the screen. His eyes, his eyes grew wider and his heart filled with joy and some glutinous substance which I was too blind to see at the time, but which explains the events that happened shortly thereafter this story, which I won't get into because you and I both have other things to do, I know. I remember this, he said. Planking! He clapped his hands over his head once or twice, but probably twice, maybe even three times now that I'm thinking of it. But that might be pushing it, so let's just stick with twice. This guy is someone who wants to live in a world with pyramids and is willing to put up with some suffering to get there. I personally would rather live in a world without pyramids if it means we can avoid some suffering. This guy doesn't like it, so when he hears me say that, he gets mad. And he just keeps getting madder. And then his eyes bleed. And then he grows a tentacle and wings. And then he grows stronger. He just, he just really loves pyramids, that's the thing. He's very upset about me saying I don't think they're necessary. Well, you know, his, his motto, he's like, you know, don't ever give up on your dreams. This is a watch. This was a watch that was given to me by a co-worker. Uh, back when I used to work at the Seattle Art Museum, we would um, need to rotate every so often, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. So this was handy for that. When I first got this, this said bands. Over time, the bands kind of just tore off. What I do was, you know, have it on my wrist, look at this, and say, ah, time to rotate. And as the bands broke, I would put it in my pocket, then pull it out and say, oh, it looks like it's time to go on.